There are three ways to control a turbine. Normally, we will use a radio controller with a receiver to control. First, we need a 2S depot battery provide power to the receiver and the throttle output channel connect to ECU PPM input. And then we need to set up the study RC. After that, we can start to running the engine. Train down and the throttle down means stop. And the train up, throttle down, ready. The throttle up and throttle down, the engine will start to ignition. If we want to stop the engine, swing down, the engine back to the stop. Meanwhile, we can use a servo tester to control the turbine. We prepare a 2SD port battery, provide power to the servo tester. The signal output connect to ECU PPM input. And then we need to set up the study RC. After that, we can control the turbine. We add a switch for stop and idle. For example, the switch down means stop. The switch up means ready. And the throttle up and throttle down, the engine began to start up. If we want to stop the engine, we throttle down and switch down the engine back to stop. We can also use a computer to control turbine. We will need a USB to TTL UART converter connect to ECU telemetry input. We need to prepare a 2S depot battery, provide power to the ECU. We open the ECU control program from computer and the select language in English. We select the power control, then we can control the turbine. We can test, for example, test the fuel valve, test the starter, and we can read all information from the computer monitor. We run, start up the engine. The engine will begin to ignition. We can start the engine and the cooling. When running, we can use the throttle control to change the RPM.